All right, so I assume you're watching this video because you ran into a few problems with my last tutorial, which was showing you how to make a copy of your iTunes library onto an external hard drive using iTunes 11. Now, I'm not quite sure what happened in your case, um, but I'm going to assume that all your music's not here. Um, one thing I want to show you first is if you right click on a file and go to Get Info, down on the bottom it actually shows you physically where that file is saved. Now the F drive on my computer setup, the F drive is actually my external hard drive. So all my music that I copied over in the tutorial, it actually worked perfect. It's, it's all being saved on my F drive, which is the way I wanted it. Now let's say you're not happy with this, something didn't move over and you're just, screw it, I want to go back to the way things were before I even went through this guy's video. It's, it's really simple actually. All we're going to do is go ahead and close iTunes down and hold down your shift key again and open iTunes. And in this pop-up box, it allows you to choose a library or create a library. We're going to go ahead and choose a library. And in this box, go to Music on your computer itself. Go to the Music folder, go into iTunes, highlight iTunes Library, and click Open. And we're actually now back into the original library. And I'll show you, if you go into a song file again and right-click on it and go to Get Info, You'll see now that the file is actually located on my computer C drive itself. It's not located on the, the external hard drive. I'll show, I'll show you another one here. So all the music's actually there. Um, we didn't change anything with your original library in any of these steps at all that, that you went through in the, in the library. So if you're noticing that music or anything like that's missing, that had nothing to do with the tutorial that I put up on YouTube. Um, you'll have to figure that out. You'll be on your own there. Um, if it is a purchased item, with iTunes 11, Apple integrated the cloud service. Um, it's, it's a pretty deep integration, and it allows you to download any of your purchased items. So if you delete a purchase, you can actually download it again by going into your iTunes store. <coughs> and all you need to do is sign in here. I'll, I'll sign into my account right quick and show you what I mean. Bear with me. Uh, iTunes store and iTunes 11, it's pretty damn slow, I'm not sure. Hopefully they plan on fixing that. So it's accessing the iTunes store and I'll go back to my library. You'll see if there's a cloud icon up in the top corner now here. It's going to show any purchases that I've made before. Yeah, yeah, don't judge me on any of these purchases. A lot of them were free tracks. But you'll see next to the song, it's got this little cloud download button. If you click on that, it's going to download that song in just a matter of seconds, and you can listen to it. Um, or you can even just go in and just double click on it, and it'll just play it directly from the cloud and stream it. So anyway, those are possibly the only, uh, the only problems you could run into. Um, another problem you may have run into is your album artwork is missing. Um, when you create a new library, the way that my tutorial shows you how to do, it's only going to move the cover art over for uh, the songs where you manually attached the cover art itself. Um, any other missing artwork, if you right click on the album itself, you can actually choose the option to get album artwork. Um, and iTunes will actually search the iTunes store and will download that artwork, whether you imported it from a CD or not. Um, if, if for some reason it can't find the artwork there, you could go to Google Image Search and do a manual search for the image. And to add that, you would right click on the album, go into Get Info, and just drag the image from a folder into this little artwork box, and it'll, it'll reattach that for you. Um, if you do run into any troubles, though, and I didn't cover anything in this tutorial um, to try and fix your problem, post a comment. I, I check my comments every day, and I'm more than willing to help you try and fix your problems. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and please share the video if you found it helpful.